Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Stellaris, shall we? Alex, good evening, good to see you. So, we're picking up our play here, and, you know, we're trying our best, but things are challenging if, like me, you don't know what's going on. So here's our overworld situation. So I'm this kind of like blue blob in the galaxy. And Siloom, good evening. The United Nations of Earth are trying to make a stand. We have these incredibly difficult people over here, group of aliens, but they're not really hostile. Uh, this group is, uh, well, not great. The only people that are outright antagonistic are the Sovereign Orassian Coalition. And then these League of um, Tabazone states, they're pretty friendly to us so far. So there's that going on here. And then there's the Sedge Confeder uh, Confederated Constituents. And yeah, they're doing their thing too, but we're going to try and pretend like it's okay, like we're fine. So let's see here. Tanadia, good evening. So glad you're enjoying that, my friend. Yeah, it's a great one. All right, so let's see. What are we up to here? What is our, what's our plan? Let's look at the situation log. All right, so we're excavating something under the ice. Um, we have a message in a bottle. We're investigating the creeps, which is a loving term we've given to a new race that we've met. And we're working on the Cybrex precursors, but we've only found one out of six of these important uh, ancient artifacts. Um, we're surveying habitable worlds, and, you know, we're looking at the the Nema. Hey, Lance, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. So, yeah, yeah, you know, we're, we're here, and we have three shipyards that are rolling. We have this star base over here, and as far as our ships are going, we're trying to kind of like build up our fleet, but our fleet is just about at max cap. We have I think we have room for four more ships currently. We have room for two more star bases. And yeah. All right, so let's unpause the game and see what's going on here with some of our exploration. What's uh ship moving in here? What's going on here? Complete. Okay, what's this up? Uh, what's this mean? Oh, this is the frozen world. Right, right, right. So I think somebody's on their way there. Construction complete. Okay. Alright, we're building stuff. We're looking great. Okay, so we've got Space some... Alright, so we had an encounter in Shulmak. We have made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Sholmak system. For now, we have codenamed them Frights. Fantastic. Until we can find out more about them. If they possess a language, we must decipher it. Okay, so um, I think all of our people are busy doing stuff, so I don't even know. I mean, like, we can look in the situation log uh, to talk about the Frights, but uh, we need to assign an envoy, which... Uh, we have people already kind of doing stuff. I need to get some more envoys. How do I... How do I get more envoys? That seems like a good question. Is it a leader thing? I have two out of three commanders. I have too many scientists, apparently. Um, no, that's fine. Construction complete. I know, Asylum. It is not looking good. 
All right, let me pause the game. Let's take inventory. So we just finished building a bunch of stuff. So let's just check in in our different places here. There's nothing being built on Earth currently. So we probably want to do something here. Uh, we have uh, a free district available. So we have 17 out of 18 total districts built. So what do we want to do with Earth? What are we interested in, in doing here? The planet is producing very well. Um, we've got some amenity issues. So what could I do to help these people with amenities? The industrial district, the generator, city. Um, this would help the jobs produce some amenities. Yeah, sure, that looks pretty good. Help everybody get be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Build, build a district. All right. Now over here at Incompetent Prime, we actually have uh, looks like thirteen free districts, which is a ton. We have nothing in the build queue. We could build another building if we want. This planet is. Um, we're trying to give them different identities. So this is. Um, we called it the Forge World, or no, we made it a Forge World. Um, so, we've got a boost to um, Metallurgy. So, we should probably build another district here. Just keep riding that Metallurgy. And then the Mining World. Now, we've got five free districts. There's no more room for mining districts. There's a, a blocker. But can we build something that's good for mining? Like, do we want to build a, a building for that? Or do I want to... Uh, resource silos. Uh, what do these do? Let you store massive things. Um, eh. I probably need to build a generator. We're running low on power. That seems okay, I guess. Unless I could look at the blocker, like, what's going on? Clear the blocker. Toxic kelp, get rid of it. It's toxic, my god, man. So we're actually working on uh, making this desert world habitable. So that's our job there. Okay, sure. Uh, we've got something going on here. First contact. Keep at it. He's trying. Uh, we finished making... Uh, some ships. Okay, good. Alright. So let's look at some of these systems. This system here, did I build? I did. Okay, so let's kind of upgrade it. Can you do anything to this? No. I don't think we can actually... We got a star base here. That's good, but... Um, these are just trade route things. Okay. So then, let me look at where are my ships that are out exploring? Where are you, what are you guys doing down here? Um, so, this science ship is, they're working, they're doing stuff. This ship is idle. What are you doing? You're doing nothing? Get on it. Can't you build a mining station? Yeah, make that happen. That's a really good place. Okay, and then, um... Okay, fantastic. Let's go. And let me just take a look out here. System survey complete. All right, where is this system that you just finished? Ooh, this system stinks. Um, I'm glad we surveyed it, but not really. Not much going on here. Okay, so then... Are you doing anything else right now? Where are you going? Now, you might actually have a job to do. Picking up one of our missions. Yeah, oh, they already have a plan. They're going way over here. Okay, that's good. Construction complete. What construction? Um, a mining station. Perfect. Okay, let me see where you're at. Okay, you did this. 
So this um, is giving us a whole bunch. Hey, Gerwin, what's up, my friend? Oh, I anticipate destruction at any moment, my friend. I'm excited about it. We're going to build a mining station here. I just, in games like this, it's so complicated. There's so much going on. I just try to learn a little bit so that the next time I might do a slightly better job. All right. And let's see. Construction complete. Blocker cleared. Oh, the blocker got cleared. Cool. Um. Oh, these people are like, um, we want to block our borders. Oh. Um, all right. So these hegemonic imperialists, I thought we were cool. What happened? Uh-oh. This ain't looking good. Um. Let me go to, like, the, um. Uh, diplomacy situation where are these people oh no never mind we are not good they hate us um they're uh they're trying to have a, a causes belli against us for animosity reasons that's fantastic okay so we got to watch out for them let me see like what their fleet is all about how strong is their army? Do I have any info on them? Now, the intel is terrifying. Um, I need to get some information. I don't have anything to even gather intel from. It says, oh, I don't have a, a spy network. I've got nothing. So I just have to pray that these people don't come in. Um, let me see what they're at over here. They're kind of above me. I don't see their ship. All right. So I'm having to defend myself against this border down here from these jerks. And then now, so that's why I kind of have my main fleet positioned strategically at the borders here. So I have... Um, like, my fleet is right here, and then my other fleet is right here. But if these guys are going to attack, well, I guess I'm pretty close. We'll have to watch out for them moving on the border. Oh, and these are my transport fleets, but all they're doing is just bringing stuff over here to go colonize this, uh, or terraform this world. Okay? So we'll unpause it. What is this? This is the... Uh, the creeps. Um, we were unable to build the mining station. Why? What happened? Here, go to you. What, how this happened? Oh, somebody else built it first? Okay. Well, okay. Okay. Then let's build it. I think I must have already set that. Log updated. Oh, okay. The situation log. All right. Let me see here. What is this? Um, so you're just chilling. You have no job. All right. So let me go to another system. Let's just kind of look around, see if there's anything we want to develop. Bum, bum, bum. Most of this stuff, I already have... mining stuff or what it's already been built up but i'm gonna see look look and see if there's anything else i need to construct gerwin i this is just a base game i don't have any dlcs yet i've thought about getting some though hmm okay we're gonna go out and we're going to say, somebody is exploring this one. Um, 
Uh oh. It's my science ship. <laughs> um, he's surveying this area, so we could try to build here if they don't build there first. Okay. System survey complete. Which survey did you complete? Show me. This one? Okay, great. Then you, you're doing nothing. Can you come build? Oh, we need a uh, star base. Okay, so here, go here and build a star base. They're going to hate it if I build that there. I love it. Um, okay, so we've made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Zaffa system. For now, we have codenamed them Bugbears. Oh, okay, I do like Bugbears. Until we can find out more about them. All right, so I, I have a problem with my envoys. I'm going to, like, you know, um, maybe get rid of this person who's doing this job. Like, I need to, um, wow, we've, we're meeting a whole bunch of people, so we've met the Banshees. Okay, sure, interesting. Um, I'm going to pause it. Let me go to, like, uh, the screen that would help me deal with this. Um, here, go to the situation log. Um, so we want to research this place. Cardoth 5. Scientist is present, has one science ship in orbit. So that's what I need um, on Cardoth 5 here. Can you show me where this is on the map? Or just go to it. Here, um, give me a science ship that's, like, doing nothing. These are all scanning systems. Um, you. Research project. Go do it. Okay. Now... Okay, that's fine. You can cancel that. All right, we've met these new people. Get rid of that. I want to mess with my... Oh, here we go. Waiting to be assigned. Great. Okay, so I need to go to first contact. And then... Why don't you go talk to the... Uh... Somebody is talking to the creeps. Then somebody can talk to the frights. Good. And then... Can somebody talk to the bugbears? There we go. All right. Now it's happening. All right. They're going to do something. That's at least good. All right. All right, what's going on over here? They're still building. Construction. They need to build something. All right, so the Forge World, um, we cleared... Oh, no, we just need to keep going with metal. Hit us with the metal. Build another metal place. Good. And then what are you doing? You're doing nothing over here at the Mining World? We cleared the blocker. Mine it. And then... I guess they're still working on the colonizing project. Okay. Now what I need is... Uh, I can hold a few more... In my fleet. But we can get more upgraded star bases. I should do that right away. So let me go to my map, and if these 
fools up here are trying to get frisky. Uh, maybe we need to go to this star base and upgrade it. Okay, and then it's going to take some time to do that. Research complete. I might want to kind of like amass a fleet over here. Uh, new research. Complete. All right. So, naval capacity plus 25. Yeah, this is what we need. Fleet support. Get crazy. I need more ships. I got a lot of enemies around. Um, we've mapped this system. Life form encountered. Oh, interesting. And... Let's see. Any of you working ships just doing nothing? What are you up to? You're moving somewhere. Okay, well. I'll see what's going on. Alright, we did that. That was good. Okay. Life form encountered. An extremely powerful subspace entity of some kind has been encountered in the Mobion system. It does not appear hostile and may not even be fully aware of conventional spacecraft, but its mere presence in Mobion is causing massive subspace disturbances in the entire system. That's bad. These disturbances are localized around the entity itself and should disappear when it leaves the system. While it does not acknowledge hails, the entity is continuously emitting a complex pattern of uh, tachyon pulses, which appear to be a form of language. If our translation software is correct, it is saying over and over, Vlar seeks, Vlar finds. Okay, we don't want Vlar have anything to do with us, but you know, I guess Flar seeks, as they say. Alright, let's see how we're doing over here. Um, Earth, you need something in the build queue. I hate to see no bars over here. It's a disgrace. Okay. Um, what are we doing on Earth? Heathrun, good evening. Good to see you. So, on Earth... Uh, we built up some amenities. Let's build something for these people to have a good time. Don't we have, uh... I built commercial zones. Did I build movie theaters for these people yet? Oh, maybe they don't. Oh, hollow theater, yeah. Ah, it actually doesn't do as much as you'd think. Oh, no, it does say plus 20. Okay. Yeah. Get a hollow theater. Have some fun. Watch Avatar. You'll enjoy it. Okay, and then... This station is actually... Not building anything here. Let me go to the... These fleets are maxed. I'll wait to build more ships until I finish the uh, upgrading of the starbase. Up here. And by the way, I can upgrade some more starbases. So let me do that. Corinth, upgrade it. Ooh, we got the colony. Foreign Empire claims our system. Yeah, they always do this. Um, though it rightfully belongs to us, the sovereign Arasian coalition has audaciously laid claim to the Sirius system. Indeed it has. They, they've laid claim to Earth, let alone other places. So we've newly founded um, our colony, and it's the Rax team building. AVN, what's up? Avatar is minus 10 <laughs> amenities. That's hilarious. Well, you tell me what movie you want them to show. Okay. Uh, we finished surveying that system, and we have some first event. Something has happened in one of the first contact investigations we are currently undertaking. Um, Long-range scanners have picked up readings that could have be best described as giant heat blobs. It's worth investigating. Make it so. I wonder where we got that expression. Hmm? Alright, so new colony founded. Here we go. It's a desert world. So what do we do here? 
Crispy, good evening, my friend. This is three episodes that I've done of Stellaris. All right. Oh, Apocalypse Past. Um, Quapra 3 was once home to a race of reasonably intelligent beings who destroyed themselves when they were seemingly only decades away from spaceflight. I think that's right, Alex. The planet has recovered from what have been, must have been immense acts of senseless destruction, but it still bears very visible scars. One of the few remaining ruins on the surface holds a reasonably well-preserved stone monolith inscribed with a message quickly decoded by Winona Goodman. It is a warning from the last of the extinct species to whoever they believed would arise after their passing. It was the development of an, quote, ultimate weapon that was their downfall. Some quirk in the psychology of this species evidently rendered deterrence through mutually assured destruction impossible. Ah, good thing I've never heard of that. Nuclear deterrence, it's fine. Survivors before dying of unknown causes soon after hid this weaponry deep underground. As destroying them was difficult and left this message uh, to dissuade us from going looking for them. So, you know, we could listen to the message or we could go for that ultimate weapon I'm gonna be dissuaded although it might help me but the last time I went digging on um, Construction complete. let me pause the game the last time I went digging on a planet when I was terraforming it um, it released these giant worms which destroyed my colony so I'm gonna learn from the last one Oh, cool, Heathrun, that's awesome. So let's see what's going on with this world. It's got a deficit of power. It's a tech world, um, which is what it's established as right now. I don't know if I need to necessarily... Maybe I did that initially. Like, maybe I set it up as a tech world when I was building it. Um, okay, so they want to research. Well... We could produce some more power so this wouldn't be on a deficit, or we could build, you know, more research facilities and just go all in. We're in. Gerwin, are you talking about the giant worms? <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Um, we're over here. They're not doing anything. Let's get busy with the mining. Make it happen. All right. You build anything? Just, you got to have every, something in the queue. All right. Something in the oven. What are you doing? Oh. There's a rivalry between the Rax Foundation and the Commonwealth of Man. Um, okay. So, I think the Rax are cool with me. But the Commonwealth of Man, if I'm remembering correctly, they are the other group of humans that we met. I could be wrong about that. Oh, cool, Gerwin. All right, so let's see. Yeah, uh, the dead race happened, Gurren, and I, luckily I only lost one planet instead of everything, but I expect that at any moment. All right, this... Where are you guys at? Let me, where are you at? You're over here. You're going somewhere. You got a plan. What you doing? You going to build this star base? Looks like it's already built. They're doing something. Building a mining station. Oh, okay. Construction complete. 
Oh, awesome, my friend. Yes, I am looking forward to it. I, I love Project Zomboid, and I am excited to see, like, you know, what they might do next with it, for sure. Oh. Um, the language of the creeps contains millions of seemingly redundant sounds, apparently dialectic hangovers from their precursor civilizations. When translated, these apparently superfluous filler words seem to serve no purpose. So we had a little problem with the creeps. We're going to keep trying it. And um, you built the starbase? Great. Let's go look at this. Okay, fantastic. So immediately, you, that's doing nothing, build a mining colony here, because that's an awesome... Oh, somebody else did that already? Or is about to do that? Um... Okay. Then, if that's already done, we've got other work to do. Here, go out. Oh, God. I didn't realize I need to build um, star bases to connect our systems. So, you, can you come here? Oh, we haven't mapped this system yet. Oh, dear God. I'm all over the place here. Let's see. What have I mapped? Did we map this one? Nope. Good one, Crispy. Yeah. It's bad, Heath Run. It's real bad. All right, so here's what we can do. Plan one. Um, who, where are you at? You're here. And you're going over here? No, no, no. I need you to go here and survey the system. Then what are you doing? You're here? Yeah, okay. We're going to try to survey enough systems so that we can build star bases to connect all of this space. Now, this place is amazing. This is unclaimed? Here, go get this one. Or did we survey this and we haven't claimed it yet? Here. Here, now, use the ship. Yeah, build an outpost. Hit that. That place is great. All right. Okay. All right, the Forge World. Construction complete. 36. Special project complete. Cool. All right, so we finished the archaeological project for the event chain precursors. An analysis of the Cybrex research module we found above, Cardorth 5, has revealed that the machine consciousness was experimenting with cybernetic life forms. Hundreds of unfortunate prisoners were transported to this facility for the purpose of having their limbs and organs replaced with various mechanical contraptions. Oh, so it's like Thanos with Nebula. The exact objective of these tests remains unclear. There is no evidence that the Cybrex ever made use of cybernetic units outside of this lab. That's, I, I like my reply. Uninteresting find. Massive atrocities, okay. Um, we got a new event going on. What's this? Speaking in riddles. After some initial successes in deducing the fundamentals of the language used by the creeps, our progress in establishing meaningful communications with them has stalled. It appears they speak in strange riddles, Bazooka Joe comics, somehow conveying meaning through short and seemingly nonsensical phrases of which we can only guess the significance. They're having fun with us. Puzzling. We need to gather a larger sample size. Do it. Make the sample size enormous. Okay. Um, what did you finish? You made the mining station? Okay. Here, go back here. Yes. Um, build... Can I queue up more than one of these? I want you to just keep doing this. Construction complete. 
Anyway, um, I guess not. Okay, and to incompetent Elsa, this is my mining world. Now, we don't have any more mining districts that we can even build. So the question is, what do we want to do? How do we want to support the operation of mining? Well, we could go over here and we could, you know, build... Um, oh, wow, we're really low on minerals. Okay, interesting. Uh, we need to go trading. So I can buy these. <laughs> they really are, Heathrun. We can buy this for... 1400 gives me a thousand that's pretty good do that all right and then if I go back over here and I want to build a structure I could make alloys because um, you know basically what's going on here is we're producing a ton of minerals we're trying to do that but let's just keep going with that let's lean into that this says uh, minor and strategic resource gathering output, 35%. Now, if there is a strategic resource, I don't see it. So, what we want to think about is... Um, features. Hot springs. Ah, look at this. Ore vein cliffs. Oh, no, this is already here. This isn't doing anything different. Um, okay. Let's see. What would be the best thing for me to build that would be mining related? I guess I'll build a resource silo. We could store everything. Alright, science ship is doing nothing. Great. Okay. Now you're talking. Alright, so we need to map all of the stuff on the way home. You, we Did we survey this system? I'm not sure, but... Um, Are you here? What are you doing? Here, go in there. I think we're still waiting on this to be surveyed. Alright, we got a new trait. Great. Alright, here comes the science ship. Hopefully to survey this system. The Rax people are here. Alien vessels are here. The political frontier. Established factions and fledgling movements alike have taken an unusually keen interest in our new colony on incompetent Rax team building. From the moment we announced settlement of this modest planet, nearly every political voice in the nations of Earth has had something to say about it. Our analysts don't suspect that anything truly radical is taking root on incompetent Rack's team building, but they advise some caution. It's clear our various political entities intend to campaign vigorously on this burgeoning world. Um, alright, so... I don't really have much choice, it just says we commend it. And uh, ethics shift chance 50%. We get a bunch of unity. And um, in 200 days political discourse, there's going to be an event that basically happens as a result. Uh, we can now purchase a new uh, tradition. Now, we got a bonus for finishing this tradition. And... Um, 
Yeah, so the finisher effect for this one is very good. We get an extra envoy if we finish diplomacy. Um, interesting. Let's go here for the Federation. So that we can get an extra envoy. Um, we're going to go over the situation log. And the Banshees. Well, the Creeps. What's going on here? Get in there. Keep working on this creep stuff. Okay. Are you done, science ship? Surveying this system? If you are, can you... Oh, they're, they're already doing it. Okay, great. Then you're done here, science ship? Okay, great. Then let's go... Um, I think you already did that. Uh, survey that if nobody's doing it. Okay, let's go check on this. Earth. What you doing? My God, Earth. All right, you're a trade capital. So let's boost it up. We need more minerals anyway, though. My mineral production is not quite what I'd like it to be. Well, we took care of the amenities situation. They seem happy. Oh, we have no available districts. So, we don't have any blockers. Yeah, I don't know. Um, this place appears to be... Completely full. Population is growing... Okay, well. Mining world. We built that. Uh, just go ahead and gener yeah, build some gen district generators. Tech world. Getting the researchers going. You gotta love it. Here, go ahead. Why don't you get self-sufficient on power? That seems incredibly important. Alright, and then... You're just sitting here doing nothing. We're waiting for this to be mapped out. Is there a science ship here yet? Get over here. Somebody do this. Construction complete. Wonderful. So now we can start building mining stations all over the place get the minerals up. You see we have 62. There's so many minerals here. It's pretty wild. Um, the space form life forms, which the human head of society research has come to refer to as Tiyanki, are docile creatures. Wow, look how big they are. Capable of assessing some lower dimensions of subspace, or accessing it, rather. Oh, okay. Let me pause this to see what's going on. Our political scientists have been observing incompetent Rack's team building with keen interest. However, despite feverish campaigning and a lot of recent fuss in the media, they forecast a fairly typical outcome for the colony's political future. Good. Our researchers note that no news amounts to good news here. 
despite what some fringe elements in our society may claim, there are as yet no signs that the incompetent Rax team building is being molded into a hotbed of autocracy. Democracy remains a founding principle there for now. Um, so we could shake things up and it boosts research but decreases unity. Um, we'll just keep the status quo. And uh, so the Tiyanki graze on gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. It is highly unlikely to say the least that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients has yet to be observed. They will rarely if ever attack, even when provoked, they can safely be ignored. That's great. Has established communications. Oh. Um, we have finished a first contact procedure. Okay. Um, space Automata. We have discovered a new life form in Zaffa, although calling it a life form may be incorrect. The entities appear to be fully automated, mechanical drones built exclusively for some unknown industrial purpose. Observations will continue, but since it's likely that these machines are programmed with defensive protocols, it would be prudent to tread lightly, and lightly we will tread. Keep looking, but use caution, okay? I like how the shadowed, sil like the silhouette of this species is just, looks kind of like a hydra. Yeah, that's totally safe. We're fine. Feel good. All right, engineering research is done. So what do we want? Afterburners, basic strike craft. Um, oh, here we go. Deep core mining. Hit me with the mining. All right, fantastic. Unpause it. And this ship is stalled. It's waiting for the science vessel to finish surveying so we can build construction complete. A star base here. Oh, you finished the uh, here. Go sweet. So then, actually, you're done. Can you just build a? Wait, wait, wait. We have a better one. This one. Build another one. Oh, whoops. I think I selected the wrong ship. Well, that's fine. You can go... Um, you can move there. Okay. So... Um, I built one here, so we have a little bit. I'm trying to just connect all of these blobs. We're connecting the blobs. Okay, cool. I can get more env envoys. Um, I need uh, more assignments, so let me... What is this? Rivalry. Um, diplomatic communication from the Sedge. Um, let's end this charade. They've declared us their rival. Okay, buddy. Great. Um... I don't play charades. I just wanted you to know that. All right, so let's check the bugbears. So we do have somebody on the bugbears. What about the banshees? Anybody on this one? No. Difficulty 10. I put you on a terrible task. I apologize. Okay, I think these are all being investigated. So we do have another envoy now. So then we can try to cultivate relationships, I guess. Or, um, I don't actually think anybody's over here doing this. I need to send a, sci a science ship to this. I should probably just build some extra science ships. I'm telling you, Alex. I gave him a good job. He's, you know, he's got an opportunity to prove himself. I don't see what the big deal is. He's fine. He's going to... It's going to do great. Um, let me go into um, contacts and let's just cultivate good relationships with... Uh, oh. These people. Do I have anybody on there? Improve relations. You're in. 
Lexi, good evening. Good to see you. Okay. Yes, I completely know what's going on. Trust me. All right. Um, go to this. No. Here, go to my other star bases. There's one at Corinth. There's one at Taz. And then there's one over here. Um, no, no, no. Go to the... F um, let's build some ships. <laughs> there you go, Alex. Exactly. A Buahaha Tanadia would be a good... That's definitely more sinister. Um, I need to build some some science ships. Uh, let's see. I have this down here. Uh, give me a science ship. There you go. There's hostiles up there. That's less than good. Did we finish here yet? Alright, here go my ships. Are you still scanning this system? This is, uh... No, you look done. Oh, no, there's already a, a star base here. Okay. We're going to um, upgrade this star base to a starport. Okay. System survey complete. Okay, great. We received, uh, We finished this research. Let's go. What do we want? Basic combat roles. Ah. New hyperdrives. We definitely want that. I want to be able to get around faster. And there's some hyperlanes or drives or whatever. Like, that I, I'd like to be able to travel better, if that's what they're talking about. So you finished in Higma. Okay, great. So then you. Build me an outpost. Make it beautiful. We're running out of influence. So, that's a problem. Construction complete. Missing in action. Uh-oh. At least one of our fleets have gone missing in action. Oh, because they decided to push their borders right up here. I don't like that. Missing in action? I don't think so. Alright, here's what we're doing. Um, first fleet. I want you... Um... We can't even reach this system, so this these people are stranded because there's no way back. Okay, no problem. Move there. Yes, we're, well, I'm sending the fleets. I know, I'm going to have to. I don't have enough ships, but we'll get some more. Just take out a loan. My problem is just that my naval capacity is pretty small. I'm trying to research so I can get better naval capacity, but... All right. 
Dolores is still leading the presidential race. Shit, fleets, are you moving or what? Yeah, Gerwin, I gotta get more naval. I'm not naval enough. My naval needs extreme expansion. I need more ships. Pronto. I think I put push the right buttons um, on my fleet, so I wanted them to move. I think I yeah. Here go. Um, Chef Smitty, good evening. I've made a few, but not many. Um, here, what I want to do with you is just have you move over here. Fleet manager. you to here what I want to do is take this fleet and have them I don't know if I just had to change their home base but what I want to do is put them um, right here in this system I want all of my fleets just sitting here. Oh, they are moving. Okay. Metro, what's up, my friend? I think it's just a cool sounding name. Um, so they are moving. It's just going to take them a long time to get there. We are receiving a transmission from the Kavaz Citizen State. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open, and all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. Oh my god, it's the peacocks. Um, we are delighted to meet you. Incoming transmission. Oh, awesome. Ahmad, I'm so glad you're enjoying that, my friend. Yeah, that game is great. Uh, we have an incoming transmission. They want an embassy. Yeah, you got it. Please don't kill me. Alright, where did we finish? Do you have a sh shipyard? Upgrade it. I don't even know about nukes at all. I got zero nukes. I got nothing. I got some spaceships and they take, they're taking much longer to move than I had thought. The Tianqi space whales are moving in. That should be hopefully reasonable. OK, 
Okay. Um, ancient mining drones. Reports of the deep space drones previously encountered have been investigated closer. The drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation. Ahmad, thanks for subscribing, my friend. Established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves, judging by the state of the processing equipment. Oh, okay. An alien empire has established communications. I think we've already encountered these drones. So we'll leave them alone. Construction complete. All right, so you finished what the Oh no, you finished something else. Okay. All right. System survey complete. You did that, which was good. Now, um, here, somebody build a research station. What are you doing? You're over here. Can you make a, uh, well, yeah, that's fine. Where are you? Are you over here? I'm um, here. Oh, you're stuck down here, I think. Council agenda ready. All right. What's going on here? Oh, uh, fortify the border. Indeed. And, um... Construction complete. Uh, diplomatic grants. Construction yeah, complete. do it. Following a long period of growing support for the veterans of victory movement, the Commonwealth of Man has finally embraced a faction, adopting their core values and policies. As a result of bringing this faction into their government, they have become more outwardly militaristic. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thanks, Lance. Yeah, Metro, I believe that Stellaris is just made up word. Oh, Solaris. Oh, I thought you were talking about Stellaris, the game title. All right. Incoming transmission. They want a embassy. That's fine. Just I know you're getting all militaristic, but Oh, it's the same writer as Stalker. That's interesting. Okay. Um Fleets, are you moving System yet? Survey complete. First fleet, what you doing? Didn't I ask you to go here? There they go. Sec second fleet, where are you at? Are you here? Get it. They sure could spy on us. But little do they know, I have nothing. The joke's on them. Mysterious spacefarers. The public has been informed of a potential first contact scenario in the Rodenev system where the presence of an unidentified spacecraft was registered. Early data suggests that this complete. vessel is capable of hyperspace travel and likely originates from a previously unknown alien civilization. Representatives from all branches of the government are being briefed on this developing situation as well as our ongoing efforts to translate their language. They're all incompetent, Heathrun. I think they're going to make it eventually. All right, keep going. Breakthrough. Um, okay. 
activate it. Sweet. Infinite opportunities. Uh, give and take. Okay. There we go. Now, there's no agendas available right now, so we'll just keep it as is, I guess. All right, good. They're done. All right, here's one fleet. All right, all the fleets are here. This is... Oh, this is the space whales. Okay, you guys can do what you want. All right, this is dumb, and I'm going to lose the game by doing this, but I'm going to attack... I'm going to move into the bad guys. Um, and just... I'm curious about how combat works, and we're going to find out the hard way. So let's go. I don't think I'm going to win this game. I don't even know what I'm doing. But I do want to see just as far as science goes. I want all of these fleets to go together. So, let me see here. Um, yeah, there's a fleet management. Here we go. All right, you'll take point, and then you will... Um... Follow these people? I don't know. Return, stop. If they have more stars than me, I don't know how many stars they have. Is, um... They have that. No, I mean, like, over here, uh, let me see how many stars they have. I can't tell. No, I don't see their military fleet anywhere, except for the fact that they came at me. They, they basically, like, what they did was they just claimed the area where my people, my ships were, so I can't get out. And they, they closed the border, so all of these, um, some of these ships are, like, just stuck. But I'll tell you what, let me give you my reasoning. They, these people, um, have, um, let me see which people these are. These are the, yeah, these folks. They're the hegemonic imperialists. They, um, have made a causes belli against me. They're trying to find a cause for war from animosity. They are harming our relations they have closed our borders, and they are our rival. So, um, can I just... I don't know how this works. Can I get a Casas Belli to attack them because they're our rival? Like, they declared a rivalry against me? Well, I'm just going to shake it up and just move on in there and see what they think about it. 
First Fleet. Go in there. I don't care that they close the border. How do I, like... I don't even know. I gotta figure out what my diplomacy policy is for war. I just don't like what they're doing. So I'm, like, trying to move in. But maybe I can't do that. I have to declare war, Centurion. Okay, thank you. So we'll go to... Relationship is hostile. Negative 520. We have tense relations. They've closed the borders. They've declared us our, their rival. And they're a target of Casus Belli from us. Okay, diplomacy page. All right, let's do it. Politics. No. Um. I got two fleets. That's all I got. Their position, they're right here. The, all my fleets are here, and I'm going to go right into there. That's my plan. Ah, here we go. Um... Oh, I have a non-aggression pact with them? Or I just have one generally? Well, I guess if I have a non-aggression pact, then I should probably not... They are likely to attack us if they think they can win. Now, war is complicated. Um, make claims. No claims. Nothing to claim. I could close my borders, I guess. I mean, that seems pretty lame. Insult is funny. I don't have a... Maybe I just have a, a non-aggression pact with my own people, but I don't see anything... Um, yep. Close the borders. Get out. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you. I need to change policies to do this. Um, okay, view site. Let's get some science ships out here. Let's do these instead. Thank you. 
Oh, it's not in our empire. All right, well. Um, here, constructor ship. Build an outpost. All right, I guess I'll just keep going. I don't feel good about it. Um, they're claiming our system. The language of the Banshees contains millions of sounds. We didn't make good progress. We're going to keep at it, though. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right. Um... I need them to go to like um construction complete. Oh, they're missing an action. Okay, well we won't know what's gonna happen with them. Alright, fair enough. Following a long period of growing support for the Free Citizen Foundation, the League of Tabosian States has finally embraced the faction, adopting their core values and policies. As a result of bringing this faction to the government, they have become more outwardly egalitarian. Okay. They're doing something, I think. Okay, so let me go back to my planets, and then let's see. Earth wasn't doing anything, but the Forge World, let's keep it going. Build many of these. Mining World. Um, all right, you need some food? Get some food. And then Tech World. Uh, you're doing a good job producing some research, I guess. Get it again. Um, first contact event. Ah, the miracle of life. The Nemo World, our breeding program on incompetent prime bears fruit. As we add another Nemo to our ranks, this juvenile has quickly acclimated to our presence and we have found it a stable habitat. The Nemo should now be ready to bear our industry. Great. We can make giant turtles. Okay. Um, elusive aliens. Our attempts to learn more about the Banshees have so far met, been met in vain. Um, they are wise to be cautious. We must find their secrets. Um, yeah, they could be cautious. Oh my gosh. Look at this. We are dragon people with 200 wings. We are a proud race. Okay. Um, we can do an event. Um, land of opportunity. Yeah, go for it. Um. Evolving society. Let's evolve. All right. Uh, ooh, naval capacity up. Now we can get some more ships. Now we're talking. Um, well, that's pretty good. Off-world trading company. 
I actually like the idea of interstellar trade. Make a little bit more money. Um, she gained a negative trait. That's not a good trait. Minus 10% army health. You're fired. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my fleets then. And I'm going to send my first fleet back to... Um, well, it's complicated because they can't, even though these are so close, they can't get here because there's no hyperspace route to connect it. So then I think what I'll do is instead, I'm just going to go back to Seoul and um, we're going to go to the shipyard on Seoul and we're just going to just build massive fleet. Okay. Fill this back up. Yes. Okay. So somebody, one of my ships... Go for it. And then this ship build an outpost. Oh, that's funny. I brought them here to deal with this. I guess they don't care. Requires a scientist. We'll get you a scientist. Age 85. The head of research. I hear. All right. We're losing unity. Oh, we're losing food, too. Oh, dear God. Uh, we're going to need to make some more food. Everybody get food going. We got food problems. Yeah, Unity is going to run up. Can I purchase Unity? Oh no, we're going to run out of Unity. I don't even know what to say. Because I hired that extra leader. I guess that was too big of a drain. All right, then what we'll do is we'll go down to contacts. Construction complete. Diplomacy, improve relations. Accept. Um, okay. The Banshees. Oh, they're mushroom folk. Our efforts to decipher the signals picked up for the Banshees have paid off, and we have finally made a breakthrough. While our mastery of their language may be, uh, not be complete, we have managed to successfully open diplomatic channels with the civilization we now know to be the Gargaxon Foundation. 
has established communications. We are the Gargaxon, a peaceful nation ruled justly by our beloved serene protector, Lishmi Oroza. I do not know what barbarity your bizarre species is capable of, but we hope future grievances can be settled through dialogue rather than violence. Yes, we have much to learn. We like you. We are friends. Okay. Um... Yeah, my... Construction complete. Yeah, let me go to that s science ship. Uh, I need to get... Remove this leader. Can I do that? I disbanded it. Incoming transmission. Mitigation treaty. Um... No, that was not with me. That was with somebody else. Oh, okay. Idle leaders to be put to work. Aw, oh, man. So it looks like... Um, disbanding... Yeah. I gotta kick him out because I was losing, I disbanding the fleet didn't dismiss that leader. Borders opened. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Message in a bottle. We got it. As we expected, the interior of this solar sailor is appropriately archaic. The bridge resembles the deck of an old planet-bound sailing ship designed to sail on watery seas. The deck plating appears to be metal, but most surfaces are covered with carved wood, a contrast to the glass-like substance on viewports and data screens. Powering up the ship's computers, we have found a data file with an old-fashioned seafarer song. According to our archaeologist, this melody was once known as a sea shanty, or a space shanty. We are attempting to transcribe the lyrics. Interesting! Alright, keep going with that. Okay, you're done? Here, go do that. Do something. Make yourself useful. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're getting there. We're finally getting unity again. So that leader was actually really painful to my unity. So now we're on sort of getting positive. Let's go over here. Uh, let's look. What are you doing over here? Here. Build that. Build that. Agricultural districts. We're running out of food. My God, man. Okay, and then we still have 11k food. It's not like we're going to starve, but I like to keep everything positive. Let me go to Seoul and go to the shipyard. And um, make a bunch. And this is the fourth fleet here. Let me see my fleets. Yeah, the fourth fleet. We could get a leader on here. Oh, God. No, get out of that. Oh, boy. Here, go to the fourth fleet. Hit him with a leader from the existing commanders. It's a slight drain, but we at least get a leader for the 4th Fleet. S 
Sloth. Man, she was she's like our Minister of Defense, and she developed this negative trait that's like so bad. Um Tansel. I can't go over the leader, Cap. We have a sloth as our leader. That's great. All right. Well, I'm just trying to build up my military strength as much as I can. Okay. Research complete. So we're actually... Moving in the right direction on food. Um, core fusion, reactor booster, or plasma thrower. These all help our ships, I guess. Um, getting them to move around better would be nice. They're not very fast. Oh, okay, they've declared Rax their rival. Well, they've moved their rivalry around. Science ships without leaders. What, this one? Oh. Do I have a free leader? You. You're on. All right, talk to me about what you're building here. You can't build anything, but you, you certainly can build something. Hydroponics me. Oh, we're full up on districts here at the mining world. We got no blockers, so hydroponics me. We got a lot of districts available, which is great. Build a city. Sweet. Okay. All right. Okay, so as I look around, automating some of these ships has been pretty helpful. Oh, so they retired at the age of 89. That's an impressive um, run. Thank you for your service, 89 years. So automating a lot of these ships has really helped us out. Uh, we have a ship that's running without a leader now because people retired. I'm trying to figure out. fifth fleet i'm probably gonna try to merge the fifth fleet with the fourth fleet but actually you now having a little smaller fifth fleet is fine let me look at my starport here how many are you building you can build one two three four more of these things and we'll put all these babies just in a small fleet up here along this border So they're digging through the ice, I guess. 
need to assign a scientist. Here, put the head of research on there, for the love of God. Somebody, do this. And then... Somebody was on this. Translate more lyrics. There you go. Uh, okay. Drone study. 1,500 years. Engineering research. Oh. Yeah, sure. Do it. That'll probably switch our engineering research. That's fine. Mm, I need to get rid of some star bases. I was able to maintain much many more of these. I don't know why it's decreased, but um, for example, this one, I'm going to downgrade it. Okay. I'm going to downgrade more of these. I've, I've got too many. Here, show me all of the... Can I move between the different star bases? Is there an easy way to tell where I have one? I guess it's the places with the icon. Incoming transmission. The League of Tabosian. They want a defensive pact. Um... Uh... I guess... Like, if they get attacked, I have to help them. That's a little dangerous, but okay. I'm going to downgrade that one, and then we're almost there. I'm okay with keeping that. I don't think this needs to... Oops. Um... Huh, okay. I thought that had something to do with it. Now, I upgraded a bunch so that I could have more fleet, so this might hurt my naval... Yeah, I don't want to break any of mine that are uh, boosting my naval capacity. So I need to move my fleets because maintaining them away from home um, is really painful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually downgrade this to just get myself within reason. And then I'm going to click on this fleet and I'm just going to say... Um, return home. I think that's a button somewhere on them. You upgrade them. Yeah, upgrade them. All right. So now we're back into range of our star base capacity. And I'm going to get some of these fleets out of here to try to save some of our resources a little bit. Let me look at this up here. Alright, we can't fit anything. We have no free districts. We have no free building space. This has seven free districts. This is our uh, forge world. So we'll just kind of keep going with... Um, oh, Dolores got elected president again. Great. She's been prez the whole time. We'll build another one of these for this place. Um, this is our mining world. No districts available. You need consumer goods? We'll get you some consumer goods. And then you are... 
you have plenty of districts free, so you are our tech world. So why don't you go ahead and build an industrial district. Get some consumer goods. Okay. So this fleet is still here. I'm going to... Um, here. Home base. Soul Station. Okay. So your home is Soul Station, so why don't you go uh, to Soul Station? Oh, you're rent big. Oh, you're second fleet here. You go to Seoul. And then first fleet, you are rent. You go home. And then the fourth fleet, we're going to move you here and make your base there. All right, research done. Um, fleet command limit. Great. This helps us with naval capacity from soldier jobs, food from farmers, that's a big one, and energy siphon. Um, I'm going to go with anything about fleets for the moment. I'm trying to just shore up my military so I don't get just run off the map if I can. You did it. You're terrific. All right. Mining world. You're done. You have... Um, the Commonwealth of Man is back to militaristic. Okay. So, you can't really do anything, mining world. I don't have any blockers that I can get rid of. I'm just going to automate the planet. Oh, we finished the message in a bottle, or we made it further. As we explored the ship, further attempts to power it up... Upgraded. Okay, thank you. Uh, ...and recover its data files unlocked more stanzas of the ancient space shanty. The ship's holographic display vibrantly projected images of sailors and spacefarers singing and dancing in accompaniment. Up comes the great dragon in search of our home through space to a planet that's beneath waves and foam and it's windy weather boys stormy weather boys i know the song stormy weather blow ye winds fringe word hey blow ye winds blow out to the galaxy steady she goes up comes the tiyanki oh the tiyanki i know them translate more lyrics go for it Let's talk about the Tianki some more. Um, you're done. This place is done. You have 14 free. And this is my tech world. Uh, consumer resources are still on the decline. So go ahead and build that district. Um, the fleet has been upgraded. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Okay. Alright, so... Let me check Corinth. This ship or this fleet which is fourth fleet they're in Corinth and I'm going to go to the fleet manager for them and we're going to set their home world to be here um I know I can do that 
I might have to do that at the star base. Oh, no, I can click to set it. Okay, here we go. Um, you are in Corinth. Yes, right here. This is your base. Okay, great. And then I need to go to the star base at Corinth. And we want to add a module for... Um, an anchorage will give us more naval capacity. And the building, if I build crew quarters... Yeah, so let's just build crew quarters here. And then I'm going to build another module also for an anchorage. Underneath that... Wonderful. I'll build a gun battery to provide some defense. Okay, that's going. Oh, ghostly spires under the ice. Our scientists have set their camps around the edges of a glassy frozen lake under sufficient light one may catch glimpses of spectral towers underneath. They grasp upwards from the lake bed like steadfast tendrils. Our less experienced crews are still adjusting to work in such biting, sterile cold. Despite this, our excavations have proceeded swiftly. We have exposed numerous airlocks, all designed for primitive submarine vessels. There is, as yet, no sign of the vessels themselves. Whether the tower's inhabitants stayed or fled, every one of its docks was left empty. Um, we can invest in the ice-breaking techniques to help climate control, or we could keep digging and get a bunch of research. Keep digging. Do it. We're going to find great stuff under there, trust me. No one's ever gotten in trouble for digging too greedily and too deep. It's an excellent strategy. Council agenda available. All right, mining drone work ethic. The drones and their tireless, endless work of extracting ever-diminishing resources from their local planetoids make for a somewhat dull but nevertheless informative subject of study. In fact, mining networks on Earth could stand to learn a thing or two about maximizing mineral extraction rates while conserving energy. Additionally, we have found that the drones are not completely silent. They emit signal pings, though extremely infrequently and at a wavelength hard to isolate from background noise. If there is anyone left to receive these pings may be a mystery for another time. Easy prey or fascinating automata. Um, we can damage them easier, or we can... Uh, mining station minerals output. Yeah, boost our minerals output. By 10% on all mining stations? You know how many I have? I have a lot. Um, what is this? Borders closed. We have allowed you to move about freely in our territory for too long. Um, I... It's so bizarre, like, the whole Commonwealth of Man, like... You know, being suspicious and hostile. All right, fine, whatever. Yes, we know that you're human, but we don't like you. Um, message in a bottle. Potent potables. Our archaeologists have unearthed a stash of potent potables. With the sailors consuming these foul fluids, we will not ingest these strange liquids. Our exploration of the ship is sufficiently intoxicating. Up came the lithoids, all hewn... From their stone, these boulders are bolder when they're not alone. Up come the necroids, all fearsome and great. You can't kill them, mateys. They'll reanimate. Up come swarms of robots. Get ready to run. Fight one, ten, a dozen, eleven hundred and one. We want more lyrics. Keep giving us lyrics. We're just looking for music. Um, council agenda ready. Um, launch that one. Open edicts. Uh, yeah, fortify the border. Um, I don't think I... Oh, give and take. Okay. 
do it. And then... Yeah, I know, I know. You closed the borders. Get out of here. Alright. Let's check this. Done. Alright, the Forge World. Just... I love how many of these minerals are producing. Keep it going. Industrial District. Yeah. And then you can't build anything. You have 13 on the Tech World. Uh, might as well... You know, keep it going. Research labs. Just make it happen. Tremendous. Did you finish anything that you were building? Okay, good. Yep, we can build four more ships. Tremendous. Um, so that means that the fifth fleet that's at Seoul right here, we can actually go ahead here at the Seoul shipyard and just throw in, you know, four of these. Um, engineering research done. Space torpedoes, that's right. Ooh, mineral purification. Now you're talking. Construction complete. Well, the Commonwealth of Man doesn't like the Erasians. Uh, we had a leader retire. You know what I should do is I should go to contacts and the Commonwealth of Man, where are you? Yes. I need to diplomacy. I need to improve relations. Like, they wanted to build an embassy, and they're like, we close our borders. I could do that, but no, I need to be friends with you. We need to be buddies. Alright, great. Open council position. Oh, we need a new minister of defense. Um... All right, Javier, you're in. The man bun wins. Uh, message in a bottle. Our exploration has revealed a glance of ancient history, displaying the zeal and courage of ancient explorers. Clearly, the captain used this space shanty to motivate and coordinate the crew. Perhaps they even sang along. Our archaeologists are suggesting this performance should be preserved in a museum installation. As for the ancient melody, we've transcribed all the lyrics we could find and added them to our databanks. Our own sailors now have a habit of singing versions of their own space shanties, which should improve their morale and efficiency. We rose from the ocean and reached for the sky. We're building an empire that will never die. And it's windy weather, boys. Stormy weather, boys. When the wind blows... Then we're all together. Memorize the lyrics and set course. Okay, look at this. So, um, harmonious crew modifier added. Sublight speed plus 10%. Great. So, we ended up getting just faster speed. That is fantastic. Okay. We finished the star base. Archaeological... Oh, message in a bottle. Oh, yeah, we did that. Okay. Okay, good. Close this, close this. Fantastic. All right. Situation log updated. New contact. The free Ubarak state. Alright. Um, oh, okay. I represent the free Ubarak state. Our elected leader, Commissary General 
Torab Hassandra would have you know that we are more than capable of defending our way of life. Do not interfere in our affairs, aliens. Uh, we salute you. Um, oh, we got another one. I'm not staring at your tentacles. We want to be buddies. Trust me. Um, several recruits from our ground force recently made a halo insertion onto the surface of Ashmir Vaz, a part of survival training. When the recruits were picked up again after two months, one of them reported several findings indicating that an ancient precursor civilization had a presence on this world. Oh, cool. Check it out. So the other people, the Commonwealth of Man, they have declared us rivals. That's cute. Okay. Well, you know, you'll have that. So the important thing is, we didn't die. Devin, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. We actually didn't die uh, yet. People are, you know, encroaching. We have several rivals. They want us dead. But at the same time, we have expanded our fleet significantly. So we were at like 40. Now we've almost doubled it. We are exploring all of the nearby systems and doing great on archaeology. But I don't know how long this charade, as our enemies have put it, will last. And yet, I don't know what it is, but I find the lore in this game, I find just the pace of it, uh, and the amount of things to do, fascinating. I don't know necessarily what I'm doing, it, and if I'm doing it correctly, I'm certainly not doing it optimally, but I'm having fun nonetheless. So this place needs a... To keep going there with that they can't build any more districts and you the tech world uh why don't you kick out a little bit more food sweet well everyone i have a long way to go in learning this game years perhaps but every time gives new insights it is indeed my bedtime everyone i want to say thank you so much for coming out to the stream we're going to be playing runescape tomorrow and then pacific drive on thursday if you want to come check that out i hope you all have an excellent evening or day and i appreciate all of your help in getting me to learn this game take care everybody alex tenadia you too my friend devon lexi heathrun centurion ahmad john ternova gerwin Metro Brown, Chef Smitty, Crispy Bacon, Siloom, Lance, everybody out there, take care, have a great one.